Hi there, my name is Brooke and I'm a server at El Gaucho in Seattle. Today I'm going to be preparing our tableside Caesar salad, which is one of our most popular dishes. With a few ingredients and a couple simple steps, you'll be able to make it at home for your family. For a Caesar salad for two people, I start with six ounces of romaine lettuce, cut into one and a half inch pieces, and then we use two coated lemons, half an ounce buttered croutons that we make in-house, but you can also use from a store-bought variety, one ounce of grated Pecorino Romano cheese, one ounce of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese that has been grated, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. For store varieties, we recommend Grey Poupon, one teaspoon of minced garlic, I use half an ounce of anchovies that have been diced. Our executive chef recommends Italian imported anchovies. I use a dash of Worcestershire sauce. For a store-bought variety, we recommend Lee and Perrins, and an ounce and a half of extra virgin olive oil. One coddled egg. Last but not least, a quarter tablespoon of freshly cracked black pepper. I begin the Caesar salad by wrapping the lettuce in a linen so that the lettuce is able to dry completely so that the dressing will stick to the salad better. I use a wooden bowl that's made out of one piece of wood. The reason for that is so that none of the ingredients flavors will be altered or changed like they would if you were using a glass or a metal bowl. I'm going to crack four cracks of freshly cracked black pepper into the bowl. I add a heaping teaspoon of anchovies, a quarter teaspoon of minced garlic, and a dollop of Dijon mustard. Now it's time to emulsify all these ingredients together, which you do using two forks. Once the ingredients are nicely mixed together, you add a dash of Worcestershire sauce and mix that in. The next step is to add the yolk from one pasteurized egg. So we have an egg that has been coddled in hot water so that the egg yolk is a little bit more firm. and you just separate the egg out until most of the white has removed itself. The next step is to add the juice from two lemon halves. A count and a half of olive oil. Now that the dressing is complete, I will add the lettuce, two heaping teaspoons of Pecorino Romano cheese, and finally, I will sprinkle in an ounce or two of croutons. Toss the salad together. Now it's time to prepare the plates for the salad. I'm going to rub each plate with the juice from one lemon half. Next, I will crack fresh pepper on each of the plates. Now we can plate the Caesar salads. The final step is to add a teaspoon of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese to each salad. And there we have El Gaucho's signature tableside Caesar salad. With a few simple ingredients, this Caesar salad is incredibly easy to make at home. Enjoy!